Let's look at the third and final part of the character connection composition. The third part is the reflection. In the reflection, you will reflect on the personal story that you've written, explaining how you demonstrate the character trait of your chosen myth character. This part is a bit of a conclusion to the overall composition. It follows parts one and two. In part one, you connected yourself to a character from literature, discussing that character and the trait. In part two, you wrote a personal story which showed how you demonstrated the character trait. Part three, this reflection, wraps everything up, tying part one and part two together. Let's take a look at how that happens through the model example. We've already read a good portion of the model example, including parts one and two. Now we scroll down to the final paragraph. It reads, see, Severus and I know how to help students. We understand that young people need and love a teacher to watch their every move. They need a teacher to stop them when they're having too much fun, to silence their laughs with sinister glares. They need a teacher to keep them always looking over their shoulder, aware of every possible consequence of every action. Severus and I help, we mentor, we guide, we teach. This final paragraph has answered the character connection part three rubric. Taking a look at that rubric, we can see that we have the standard paragraph development criterion. The more important criterion is the reflection criterion. And the mastery level requires that the writer provide a reflection that restates the thesis idea and reflects on the personal story. So when you are looking at writing the reflection, refer back to your thesis. In my model example, this was my thesis. Like him, meaning Severus Snape, I help students at McCord grow into fine young men and women. Looking at my conclusion, we can see that I have talked about help, and I've talked about Severus, and myself, the key portions of the thesis. So if the thesis presents Severus and I helping students, my conclusion, my reflection, restates that, and then emphasizes it. I reflect on the story by including elements from the story in my final paragraph. They need a teacher to stop them when they're having too much fun. That's what I did with Eric in my story. To silence their laughs with sinister glares. I did that too. And of course, so did Severus in the example from the Prisoner of Azkaban that I referred to in the first part. They need a teacher to keep them always looking over their shoulder. Both Severus did that in his example, and I did that in mine, aware of every possible consequence of every action. Severus and I help. There's the character trait again. We mentor, we guide, we teach. This reflection has provided the conclusion, showing that I understand what the trait is and how this character and I both demonstrate it. It shows clearly that I understand who I am and how I am similar to that character. Tacking on this final reflection can show the reader that you understand your story as well. This is not only talking about a character trait, but it's also indirectly talking about a theme. The character trait is primary, but a lesson can be learned as well. Of course, the lesson is Incidental. Importantly, you must discuss the thesis idea, which focuses on the character trait. Write a single paragraph to reflect and follow these steps. If you do that, you can write a reflection that properly wraps up your story and makes for an effective composition. As you have questions, please bring them to class. Do not forget to write, make mistakes, and feel free to make mistakes. We will polish those mistakes away and make for a final composition that you'll be proud of.